What's up? Hi everybody. How's it going? How's it going today? I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, why am I excited? Well, I'll tell you why I'm excited. I'm excited because I am working on a thing that I'm just going to make this a little bit easier to read. Oh, you know what? I'm going to just restart my VS Code because there's an update. Which is always good to do live because you you know things don't break when you oh and then I just quit it. Oh, see this is why I, this is why I can't have nice things. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah. So what was I doing? What, what am I talking about? What I'm talking about. All right. I have been working on some stuff for the create block package, and I I know if you've been on this stream before, you know I talk about this create block package a lot because I think it's like awesome and. I've been working uh, towards adding a couple of features that I'm really, really excited about. One has already been merged and it should be out. It'll be out with the next um, package update, which I think will be next Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, I mean, a week yesterday. Um, and it's, uh, let me show you. So, let me zoom this in. So the, this is the one that just got merged and I'm super excited about this one. Basically what this does is it allows you, one, a person, whomever, to uh, use the use the create block tool to just scaffold a block, so it, you don't have to. It, it won't it won't build you a plugin all the time, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so that does that. Uh, well, assuming that you've set your template up in the right way. But anyways, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But what I'm working on today is this one. This one is uh, kind of neat. It's a bit more, I guess, maybe in in the weeds. But the idea of, 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 of this one is that um, you can have the template that is using. So when I say template, like create block allows you to, like it supports templates. You can create your own. You can either create them and have them hosted on npmjs.com or you can have them local, but you can build out your, your templates that provides all the files and provides your configuration and some defaults and stuff like that. So the, great block, the create block package actually has templates built into it that are that are that are uh, you know they're very basic a, a, examples if you, if you just run npm or sorry npx at wordpress slash create block given a name you'll get the static one um, so what this does is this flag adds a variant it adds a variant flag so you you can have your template to find different variants um, or different types of blocks so you can have a static one or a dynamic one or your es5 one or you can have any anything you want and then based on that it generates some template variables um <clears throat> specifically for for um for mustache so uh this is this is the pull request here so if i look in some of these so if i look in plugin for example and i look in slug you can see that I've got these these sort of things here. This is like is static variant, right? Um, oh, looks like I think I have to fix that. Um, strange, yeah. So there'll be a is static variant, or if it's dynamic, this is wrong. I, I have to I update this, but it would be is dynamic variant. But this is all based on um, the the definition of our templates, which right here I've got variants, uh, static and, and dynamic. That all makes sense. So you would you, you would call it like something like you'd be like npx. Let me just see npx npx, right? Do that and, you, and he, you'd say variant. And I want the let's say I want the dynamic variant. This isn't going to work right now, but this this would be the idea, right? Dynamic. And so what makes this super powerful is that we don't have to just be like a like when I first started working on this, the idea of it just being able to like do a static version and a dynamic version that that I thought was going to be a big win um, but <clears throat> it is but also this this allows you to do things like let's say you, okay so you have a block right you're you're an agency and you have a template that you use right um, and it's it's always the same structure so you want to add, but then now you want to add a TypeScript version. So you're replacing all your JS files with .ts files and all of that fun stuff. And it includes types and all these things. You can do that now by um, creating a, var a variant for it. And then in your templates, uh, like in your block template, for example, um, having it only render, only output items, like here's, Here's the example. So if 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 we have if we're doing the static variant of this particular block, 
then this file will, will the save.js will get rendered with all of this stuff. But if it's not, if this is static variant is not true, is not is not there, it won't get rendered. And so in this in the create block, what we're doing is we're rendering all of the templates and then only outputting ones that are not um, only writing to the to the, the the file system ones that aren't empty. So that's how we can do these things. And you can have so, like some uh, like for example, the, so the, this template would only is only useful if we're doing a dynamic variant. So otherwise, it gets rendered as, as empty and, and and doesn't get actually written to the file system. So this opens up a lot of possibilities. You can have a thousand files in here, and all variations. Our, our sort of variations would, our variants would determine what gets uh, kind of rendered and not. Does that even make sense? Am I even just like making sense? I haven't had enough coffee yet. I feel like I'm out of breath. Oh, what's going on? It's hot in here. Man. <laughs> it's falling apart. You, you know what? Kevin! Kevin he's, he's here somewhere. <clears throat> Uh, cool. So anyway, so what I'm doing today is I am going to follow up on some code review items. There's a couple of things that I need to, to address that my good friend Greg here has been so graciously, um, uh, what am I saying? He has been awesome in helping me with my code reviews cause, uh, there aren't, there aren't, there aren't many folks that, that are, re are reviewing this stuff and he's always got good suggestions. So a few things I had to fix up. That's right, Kevin. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna fix up some of these things. And then there's a couple of things that I wanna just kind of get through this and, you know, it's a bit of cleanup. So it's gonna be a bit of a work session. I'm gonna try to talk through what I'm doing, um, but some of it's cleanup. And then there's a couple of things that I wanted to actually look at. Oh yeah, the ES5 template dev. De a definition. I think what we can do is in the, we, we, the predefined templates are here. They're in there. And I think what we can do is we can add, we might be able to add the ES5 version here. But the, it's the default values that are a bit tricksy to work out, but I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll have to see one, one thing, one thing that I haven't figured out yet for this and I'm not sure, it's probably not this pull request, which where we should do it, but there are, like if you have, if you define a template, so for example, in our create block tutorial template, which uh, is the Guten Pride one, if you look at the index.js, the default values include at attributes. And right now there's no, we, I, we haven't, I haven't figured out a way, we haven't kind of talked through it yet, a way for us to um, um, change these default values based on the variant. We're not quite there yet, but that would be very cool. It could be that, that maybe variance becomes an object um, instead of maybe it becomes an object. Now oh, that's not, that's an interesting idea. Variance because an, an object with the key of the name of the variant, the property of the name of the variant, and then the value is all its default values, and then we can override the default values. That might be, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So I can swear at you, and then if I, if I call you an asshole and then go offline, you you won't be able to say anything. Is that what you're saying? I'm gonna wait 15 seconds. <laughs> Uh, that might actually be the way to do it. I wonder if we should dive down, we should go down that road. Aha, 15 seconds later, Kevin says, LOL. Fantastic. <laughs> That's Kevin. for you, buddy. Okay. Well, um, well now, now you got me down this rabbit hole because I mean, I guess backwards compatibility can still be fine. Cause we can just do like object, object keys to get the, um, to get the, 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 the variant names. Cause we're using that in some places, but anyhow, so let's, let's just get into it. I mean, there, there's a lot going on here. If anyone has any questions about what I'm doing, just let me know. And otherwise, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll try to ramble. 
I try to ramble as I do it. Okay, so let's look at the pull request information, the stuff that he's talking about. Okay. So, yeah, this is dynamic thing needs to go away. I need to find that. Uh, I'm going to do a little uh, search. Use dynamic. Uh, yeah, that's that's not good. Where'd that come from? Where's this? What? Great block, great block, yeah. Oh, crap, did I miss all this? That really sucks. Okay, so I need to replace is dynamic. Uh, replace with, what am I replacing with? It needs to be replaced with, um, just an invariant. So I'm gonna replace all those. Okay. Um, maybe I should do this. I, I, I don't want a regular expression. There we go. So then we got place those. Is there, okay, replace it. Oh, you? Why don't you? Why don't you stop being stupid, man? Why don't you just stop that? All right. So I should have no more is dynamics. Right. Um. Maybe I should do a static too. Just, just for laughs. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that. So I'm gonna say uh, update, update is dynamic to is dynamic variant. All right, we're gonna add that. I'm gonna commit that. Oh, you know what? I, I think I need to. Okay. Um, here's a. If anyone has never contributed to Gutenberg before, this is how I, this is how I set it up. You don't have to set it up this way. Um, uh, well, I set it up differently now because I actually have access to be able to push branches directly to the, the Gutenberg repo. But uh, what I would normally do is I, I would fork it in my personal re repo and then, I, and then I would check that out. And then I would set um, here, you, you can see my origin is my fork of Gutenberg and then my upstream, I've, I've added a remote called upstream. That is the Gutenberg, actual Gutenberg repository. And then whenever I go to do work, I just do git fetch Oh, and I spell it wrong because welcome to the stream. Uh, git fetch all. It's going to pull everything down. All right. Then I go, then I, I get, I have a, I have a shorthand. So this is git checkout. Let's get like that. And then I check out trunk. Trink, it's not a thing. Get check out trunk. And then I got to go get merge upstream trunk. And I do that. Git checkout. Get checkout if if you pass to just the dash to any git command it does it, it does the sort of like the last thing so this is going to check out the last branch I was on which happened to be the branch I was working on get merge trunk oh and I got a little conflict got a little conflict I got to work on here so let's see what's the conflict what, what's what's this what. Okay, I know that they just they just did some stuff with Lodash with getting rid of um, they're moving away from Lodash. Um, they're basically they're pulling it out and in favor of other of like you know regular stuff. Um, so I think that's where that comes from. And then I'm gonna just. Here and I'm just, just gonna go GST, which is git status basically. And I say git commit, and I'm gonna just do git commit. Um, I use uh, oh my z sh oh my zish um, for my 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 my, uh, my terminal. So I use and it's awesome. And this is a plugin on there for some git shorthands. And I think I'm losing frame rates because of all the stuff going on here. Um, yeah, so that's why I have all those shorthands. Highly recommend using oh my z it's no oh my zish. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna call it. You ah nvm install using the wrong version of Node. We're gonna run git commit again. This is slowing down streams. Right. <clears throat> does anyone here? ever not use, like, does anyone use crate block on the regular? 
Um, Kevin, I know you responded to, to, to my tweet about that, about some things that keep you from using it. And I'd, I'd be really interested to hear what those are from everyone. Um, because, oops. Oh boy. Um, and then, uh, sorry, and then I, I, I pushed that up. So, because it's uh, Starship Prompt. Starship Prompt is nice too. What's that? Is that from, um, is that Omai SH as well? Starship Prompt. Never, uh, I set this up like probably five years ago and I haven't really set this up. I haven't really messed with it too much. I do think that this is a bit, a bit more than what I need. Um, so I might try to change my prompt a little bit there, but uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit much in, in some cases. Anyhow. Okay, so I got all that. So now I can, uh, oh, I pushed all, all the things up to my branch. Great. So now when you push stuff up, we should see that this stuff is all outdated. <sighs> what is he talking about? S5. Oh, did I do that wrong? Am I an idiot? No, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, so this, if I refresh this now, this should tell me it's outdated. Okay, I'm going to resolve this. I'm going to resolve that. Uh, I gotta resolve that one. And okay, so what's he saying here? Okay, let's just check here. Okay, we could branch for for the only for the block registration here. Oh, I see what he's saying. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what he's saying is we can get a bit more tricky with what gets rendered when and where. Like we could we could just do it in inside of this and just I think it will end up being a weird looking file. I'm just going to leave it. I I I I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave this. Um Okay. Check out starship.rs. Awesome. I will check that out. Thank you, Kevin. Um, you're great. So we're going we're gonna to leave that. So what is he saying? Well, I wasn't sure what variant print. Oh, so he just wants to change the get template target. Where is this? This is in templates. So I have in here. This is probably is a confusing variant types. What do you have? Variant type, variant bars. All right, sure. Uh, replace variant types. Variant bars and I will replace that replace that and replace that okay so uh, replace change okay cool I'm gonna go ahead and commit that and see what the next thing is um, yeah, okay, I'll resolve this, resolve that one, go through there, uh, oh, what is it, oh, init package JSON, that, I think I just, I think I just broke that, I need to do something much different there, init package JSON. <sighs> am I, where am I using this though? Well, yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. I am that's oof. No, that makes sense. Okay. So so what's happen so, so so let me explain what's happening here. This is an old variable name that does basically the same thing. I I had um is dynamic it, the the original idea of, of of this was to be able to add a um dash dash is dynamic flag that would that would convert would give you a dynamic block instead of a static block but i think the the, the variant approach which was greg's suggestion i think is a much more versatile one so that's why this is called is dynamic and now i just have to i have to just call this is, is dynamic variant and we're a little we're kind of um oh you're awesome <laughs> thanks for the follow collaborative rocker sounds like a it's a fantastic name um, this is a bit prescriptive, but I think it's okay because if we have a dynamic variant, chances are you're going to have some PHP in, in there. Um, and dynamic block is a pretty, 
it's pretty standard uh, naming convention. So I don't think I need to worry about any of that stuff. Okay, so we're going to, oh, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna say, um, update is dynamic to is dynamic variant. Okay. And, ba -da, and da -da. you know what's fun about open source uh, uh, contribution? Like when I was getting, when I was like working for a client, you couldn't, couldn't be real, couldn't be too cheeky with your commit message. I mean, you really shouldn't be anyways. I mean, <laughs> but if you've ever seen Aaron Jorben's stuff, it's hysterical. Um, he, he commits, he, he uh, contributes some really funny commit messages anyways. Hey, uh, Collaborative Rocker, I am well. How are you? Thanks for joining and thanks for the follow and I appreciate you being here. Um, you need to explain your name. Do you like, do you go around like writing awesome face melter like solos with people? Like co-writing? Is, is that what it is? Because it's awesome. It's an awesome name. Uh, cool. All right, so I, th oh, did I push that? I, I gotta take that. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, we're gonna... Okay, I'm going to resolve that. Okay, that's a bit, that's a big one. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna focus on that one in a second. I'm going to just clean up the README a little bit because I apparently missed that. So in the README, it's not as dynamic. We're gonna go variant. Bear, oops. Variant. And now, what did I say? It's variant. Yeah, yeah. So, choose a sub. Um, choose the variant as. Uh, what can I say? This choose the block variant. Choose a block variant. Choose a block variant as defined by the template. That might be it. Oh, that's a good, yeah, maybe. Maybe they, I never thought of it that way. Maybe they, maybe they have a rocking chair. Maybe that's what they do. Maybe they have like two rocking chairs and they get a friend to come over and they sink it. Eh, you think? Who knows? Thinking outside the box again, Kev. Metal and music culture related noise. Um, if you're interested in metal and code, there is literally someone that um, I know, Ebony, who does uh, metal and code. You should check her out. She's awesome. She might be streaming right now, but don't leave. <laughs> Stay here. Go after where I'm done. But she's awesome. I highly recommend you check her out. Uh, okay, and then I gotta go, I gotta, I gotta update this in the, where is that, online, what, 39 or something? Oh, nice, cool. She has way more, way more followers than I does, I do, and she does an awesome, awesome stream, so, uh, oh, God, I hope she doesn't think I stream sniped her. <laughs> Because I mentioned I was going to stream, but I didn't put a link in. I'll have to follow up. Make sure she doesn't think I'm like trying to steal, steal her views. That would be uncool of me. Um. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Anyways. Okay. So we got that. We got that. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna fix these README updates. Uh, okay. Uh, update read me to use uh, variants. Like. Boom, boom, sync changes. Okay, awesome, well, well that's good. I, 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 I wouldn't want to be that guy. Okay, so that looks like this is outdated, so I'll resolve this. This is also outdated, so I'll resolve that. Okay, so. 
Okay, this is, I'm gonna work on this one. I think we should include the variant prompt only when template variants contain more than one option. If there's a single option, we can automatically set it unless quite around among the scripts to prompt in case there are less than two options. We can test whether templates don't define variant. I don't have variants defined. Hmm. Okay, well, let's do some testing. Okay, let's see where that is. So this is in the, in the lib. Uh, I'm gonna close all these. Oops, nope. Where, where is that? Um, index 117. Index on 117 down here. We are pulling these things out. So plugin template. Okay, so in here, if I console.log, I think I have access to the templates, um, plugin template. I think I have access to it here. So if I can do that, I'm gonna come over here. So the way I have this set up now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear this. I'm gonna call node. I'm gonna, so what if it just remembers, there we go. So, okay, so this is gonna, I'm, I'm in my plugins directory, you can't see that. I'm in the plugins di uh, directory of my local install where I have um, uh, Gutenberg set up. And so I'm calling, I'm, so I'm gonna call the index of this package in there and I'm gonna give it a um, uh, prompts test. Okay, whatever. And then what am I doing here? Oh, right. Oh, I just wanna do this. No WP scripts. Is that gonna work? Oh God. Okay, cool. So this does have, I do have access to the variants. Okay, so this, so what's, this won't get spit out. So what should be happening is this is gonna go, okay, what's the name? Okay, I'm gonna call it example static. And then it's gonna ask me what template do I, do I wanna use for this? Um, it's, it seems silly if there's only one template, if there's only one sort of option. So what I'm, I'm gonna do to test this is I'm going to actually, uh, I'm gonna just console that log, I'll console log out that for now. What I wanted to check to see is if I, if there's, if I define a, this thing with only say static, I don't know what, what inquirer is going to do. Inquirer is the, the package that we're using to do, to handle all these prompts. So if I clear this, yep, I'm gonna run that. It should say, what's that thing wanna do? Oh. Huh, that's kinda dumb. Okay, so, The way I've built this is that if you don't pass, if you don't pass it, it being the variant, it'll use whatever the default variant is or whatever the first one in, in that list is. So I think what I need to do here is we're gonna need to uh, change this list dependent on um, the length of, uh, depending on the length of the, um, Help me, what am I saying? The, <laughs> how, how many templates there are? Ugh. Okay, so, because we don't, I don't care about the variant, if there's only one, it'll, it'll just use it, right? So if I just take that out, what'll ha what happens here? Let's run this and I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna take all the defaults. See, it's not prompting me because I'm not using it and then it's gonna do the thing. So if I look in plugins now, um, I should have a, a, what, what did I just call that thing? Oh, example static, yeah, example static. So we should have source, we have, yeah, it's just building out the right one. Okay. And if I come into templates and I make dynamic the default and I run this again, uh, I'm gonna take all the default examples in interactive mode. We come in here now. I check my plugins example static. I should have. Okay, so it's just taking the default. Okay, so I know that that works. That makes me happy. So now what I need to do is I need to have figure this out. 
<clears throat> but I want to have it in the right order. So I guess, you know what? I could just go const, um, const prompts, right? Prompts equals. Um, I should go plugin template dot uh, variance, right? Dot length, um, right? Oh, I don't know if that's gonna. I don't think we're supporting Node 14 anymore. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go length. Uh, it's greater, greater than one, right? Then we'll do this. Otherwise, we'll do, we'll return, um, we'll return all these things. Without that. There's gotta be a better way of doing this. This seems ugly. Those are always gonna be in there. Maybe I can filter them. Maybe I'll do it that way. If I go I do this. I do this, and I go and I dot and I filter this array. Dot filter, right? I should say what is this? Uh, prompt. Prompt, right? And I'm going to say if some logic in here. If prompt right if Oh god, right, type, learn to type. You can do it, you can do it, fella. Very prompts, probo to, is equal to variant, right? Um, otherwise I wanna return true, because I wanna get everything, right? If prop is equal to variant, then we're gonna get in here and then say return prompts, no, uh, block prompts dot variance. Let's make sure, because it's not defined, it'll be an issue. The length is greater than one. I spelled length wrong, holy crap. Does that make sense? Does that seem right? Does that seem? Kevin's gonna tell me I did something wrong here in a minute. He's he's really he's like my conscience. <laughs> oh no. Give that child back their candy, Ryan. Let's just see what happens now if I run this, eh? Let's just see. Clear. We're gonna do this. Oh you. Why? Cannot access is it? Oh God, sorry, not block prompts. It's um, plugin template. That's fine. I wait for I wait 15 seconds for Kevin to tell me I'm, I'm wrong. Okay, so that that did kind of what I thought it was gonna do. So now let's double test it. We'll come back in here. We'll add static back. We should get it here now. Clear. Um, there we go. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Wicked awesome. That does what that does. Um, just for reference, I'm using no, no scripts here because I don't want it to install and run. It, it installs packages and then it builds them and stuff and it takes forever. So I, I don't need it for the purposes of what I'm doing right now, but um, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, I feel like I should put a comment in here. Um, This is, has me concerned. I think, I don't think we're supporting node 14 anymore because I'm pretty sure that node 14 does not support the conditional chaining, optional chaining. But whatever, we'll figure it out. If it needs to be there, it'll be there. So let's, okay, I'm gonna run this now on a template that does not have anything. And I know one uh, 
is here equals, uh, you know what, I put it in my testing instructions. Um, where did I put it in my testing instructions? Come on now. Where to go? Where to go? Oh, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of this one. I think I'm thinking of this one because there was some work I had to deal with. Um, yeah. I'll we'll plug in multiple blocks template. Okay, so this is what I'll use. So I, I'm not sure what this is going to do. Um, so basically what I'm trying to test now is I'm trying to test a template that doesn't have anything defined. Um, is this is one of my old templates that I built and I pushed up to N NPM and it doesn't have variants in it. So it didn't exist. So we'll see, we'll just see what happens when, when it, when it does this. So it's going to download. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, test. Sure. Okay. Uh, I mean, it did seem to work fine. That's it there, and that's, that's that's fine. Okay. So what if I do? So okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I think I've accomplished. I think I've. I think I've managed. Where'd that go? This thing. I'm gonna up, update this. Um, Inquirer. showed um, the prompt even with only a single option. I have added some logic to only prompt if there are more than one variant defined. Okay, <sighs> okay so let's get back over here. Sorry, what am I doing? Get you to stop. Get out of here. Okay, okay. Don't need that. Don't need this either. Okay, let's just see what we got. Changes here. Okay, just gonna just, just that. Okay. Add logic to uh, conditionally. To conditionally show the variation variant prompt. that up and we'll move on to the next one okay I'll let I'll let uh, maybe that. okay we should also add variants to the yeah Oh, I see what he's saying. You want, okay. So in the templates here, I thought he meant add ES5 to this, but I think what he's saying is add it to the ES5 template, um, which is a great idea. So do variants. Okay, so let me just, let me check through the rest of this stuff. Uh, okay, so now we look in templates, we look at ES5. There is huh, 
Okay, well, we can just do this then. Just can dynamic. Let's take a look. We'll add that. And then let's test it. Okay, I'm gonna clear this. And then I can just set template to... I'm gonna go ES5. Um, okay, sure. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do static. Okay, that works. Let's see what it looks like in there. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to test them all to make sure they build because they should they should build, but let's make it five. So that looks like it's got all the things. Okay. So now let's go back here. I'm going to go S5. And this is going to be dynamic. And again, all this will be the same. Let's go in here. Let's look at the. Clearly, we're gonna have to name. We, this will have to be something different. It won't be static. But in here, we've got index, so we shouldn't have save. I see no save. Uh, in here, I see we're pulling in the template. We got to render. Okay, cool. So that's just straight up working. So I think <clears throat> we can just remove uh, example. I think we can just remove static ES5, and we'll just remove ES example. Right, example is five. Example block. I'm gonna call this example block now. Exam example block scaffolded with the create block tool. Because there's not necessarily anything static about it. Um, okay. Sweet. Super cool. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm going to, uh, okay, what does this do? This um, adds variants, oops, variants to the ES5 yes, block and removes um, static from various um, oh my god. Various, what would you call these uh, properties? Okay, so we'll do that. Commit that. Possibly, I think, technically, yeah. Like from a technical standpoint, of course we could, but I think we would need to um, be very transparent about that. Um, and have it possibly opt in. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it, that's the thing, like measuring this stuff in an open source community is, uh, everyone, everyone wants data, but I, I personally, like, I, like, how would you feel about, um, you know, your data getting tracked somewhere, um, with it, especially without your, without your knowledge? I mean, it probably wouldn't be anything like, PII, like personal identifying information, just usage data. But um, I'm just, we would need to, we would need like the the WordPress project would probably need to do like a request for comments and proposal and do all that stuff. It's not a horrible idea. I quite like the idea. I just think implementing it needs to be very delicately, delicately handled, I think. It's a great question or statement or whatever it is. Anyhow, okay, I'm gonna seek the changes here. So now we shouldn't have anything in here that is, okay, so where are we with this now? Um, I've, uh, I've added the variations, variations. Uh, okay, oh, you know what, what is this? So. This is called static. Um, yeah, like, sorry, what do you mean, Kevin? If it, like, if the data could be public, I think if you had a system that you could opt in, that that you, that, you know, when you run it, um, you know, in interactive mode, it says, hey, do you want to, you know, do you want to add this to the data or something? Or I'm not sure. There would have to be a way of like being very verbose that your data is going to get snagged, snagged, and put somewhere, but. People would need to be able to get to it. They need to be able to see what it is that's being snagged. 
uh, IP, even storing IP addresses could be problematic, right? Like, um, and if you're, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to say it's a bad idea, but it's a bad idea, Kevin. No, it's not a bad idea. It's just a hard to implement idea, I think. Uh, okay, so where is this being used? So if I go, where does it get the template? Where does it get template? Template name, where's template name pass to? Template, template name. Uh, get plugin template. Oh, I get it. Okay, that's what what. So where does where does template name come from? How does it get defined? What template name is? It gets. Oh, does it have his template have a? That's the default. Okay, so we're gonna call it. Uh, standard does that make sense I, I I need help with this naming value so we are um, I need some input so we are creating a block so this is the es5 version of block because it does not use a build process so would calling what we were calling static standard makes sense I don't know Because modern, I don't know. I don't want it to be too like in the weeds about like, you know, I don't want to call it ES6 because that, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter for like the default block should be the default, the default template. Maybe it should just be called default. Oh, we're going to see about that. We're going to see about that. We're gonna go with that. I'm sure people will have ideas. Standard versus static. Yeah, because yes, because stand because it's a it's a standard block. It was like you it, it's it's. I'm gonna explain this right. It's no longer it, it may not be a static block anymore because if you do the dynamic variant, it won't be a static block. But it is sort of like the standard way that we build blocks. Like the ES5 is kind of a variation on that. Does that make sense? Yeah, default is just going to be ES5 and support one. Do you think people are using ES5? I don't think, I don't know if they are. I don't, I think it's good. I think we have it. I think we, we should keep it because there are people that do not want a build process. Um, and so uh, there's not a lot of help for, for those folks. So having this build out for you, I think, I, I think we should, we should just, we should just keep it. Um, Yeah, I'm torn between de uh, standard and default. I'm gonna keep it as standard for now, but in, in, in my comment, I will I will say, um, I'll throw out the option of, of default. Naming things is hard, as everyone knows. So I'm gonna commit that. It's to the uh, ES5 template. I've um, and removed uh, static on the various properties. Um, removed. Uh,
Okay. We'll, we'll just we'll do that. Okay. That's kind of where I'm going with it. I mean, default standard. It's all you know. It's all semantics. I just. Uh, I'm 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 just thinking that when when you're prompted, right? Like so, when you're when you're uh, uh, doing this, uh, what's it going? So example ES5. I guess I guess you're not even going to really see it. Um, I guess you're not going to see it because you don't call the template. Like, I mean, you could you could do uh, standard, I guess, right? Template is standard. Example block. Yeah, it calls the right one. So what if I don't pass a template? What if I just do this? What's it gonna ask me to do? Yeah, okay, it's giving me the right one. Sample block, sample block. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna go with that for now. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what, what peeps say. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sync those changes. Now, what was the other thing that I wanted to do? Okay, I've pretty much addressed all the changes here. Um, <laughs> legacy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave ES5. I don't wanna mess with that too much. Although it does seem, you know what would be a better name for it? No build. That would be a better name for it. Cause who cares if you're not a JavaScript developer, right? Or you're not in, or, or you're not, I shouldn't say that. If you're not like, a, if you don't do a lot of JavaScript, ES5 may mean nothing to you. Um, it may mean absolutely nothing to you. In fact, it barely means something to me because I can never remember what ES5 represents. <laughs> you know, that's like a feature set. That's like naming WordPress PHP 7. Like it seems a little, like we shouldn't, I don't know if we should be naming things around the technology, right? Like around the, the standard basically that, 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 we're, that we're dealing with. Um, I would be hesitant to rename it though because that's what all the examples are. Um, but I mean, we could be more purposeful with the things that we're doing, right? Like ES5 means nothing to somebody that just doesn't want to deal with JavaScript, right? Especially somebody that probably doesn't want to deal with modern JavaScript and wants to deal with the build process and all that stuff that comes with it. Right? So anyway, uh, but that's a interesting idea. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know why we, we could probably rename it. I don't know how much pushback, if any, we'd get, but um, yeah. Okay, so we got that. Um, all right, okay, so what was the other thing that I was going to do? We could branch for static versus dynamic only the block registration here. Uh, yes, I found that it um, ends up creating files with odd white space. Space though. I'm just gonna leave that. Um, um, okay, so I want him to see that. Did this, did this, and this, and this. Okay, so the next problem that I want to kind of see if I can, I want to see if I can address is, like I said, um, I, I as part of the as part of this pull request, what I was trying to do is in the create block two tutorial was I was trying to add some variations for that. Um, I added uh, our variants, I should say. That's gonna be a thing. Variations, variants. We already have block variations. So variants, template variants um, here, but the attributes were always the, the same. And when you have a static block, uh, you can, this is totally the way to do it, right? You have a div and you grab the text out of that div and it's a type of string. But when you have a dynamic block, you wanna pull that from the attributes that are saved in the, um, the HTML comment that wraps the block up. So, um, and the only way to do that would be to introduce an array of objects, right? Right? No, just an object. <coughs> Changing the variance to an object to be something like, like this, basically, right? You have 
Static. Oh god, get out of here. Static. Mm -hmm. So so we've got this, and then we have an object in there representing all the things that we may want to override. Right? So in this case, <clears throat> we would want to do something like let's do something like this, right? But we wouldn't want those things. We would just want that. And then <clears throat> what we could do is <sighs> where would we do this? We'd do this in here, right? So we would have to get variants. Um, and I'd have to get plugin template. Right, right, right. And variants would just here. Variants would just be config to template. I gotta figure out where, where uh, config to template. Where the hell is that called? Um, in here get prompts did I write that? I did write that okay so this would be variance for default values get prompts I'm trying to find you know when you like are working on something and then you're like yeah I totally work on this for like an entire day yesterday and then now you, you just can't remember where anything goes so so this function does this. So it gets, oh, it gets a bunch of stuff. So variance is gonna be here. So in this case, variance would have to be, let me look, default values, we've got support slug title. So defaults values, where's default values dealt with? Where does it get default values from? If deprecated that templates path in this else. Okay, we got those those things. I feel like it's already got the default values by this point. Default values, get default values, plugin template. Get default values. Oh, plugin template. Plugin template default values. I see. Okay. Okay. So this is what we have to do. We have to do something like this. We'd have to say, um, so this would be the stuff that comes in from here, right? So let's let's just uh, let's console log that console get out of here console.log plugin template default values want to make sure that that matches and then I gotta call this clear uh, yep yeah. okay so I need a template the template is going to be um, Gutenberg I'm gonna do this. Copy the other path. What's going on here? Okay. Uh, packages. Okay, so this is gonna this is calling the local template for this. So if I run this now, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so that's that's running a bunch of things. Okay, so that's gonna put that out there. So now if I do this, I should be able to get default values. Get default values. Do I have the template by this point? I do have the template. Oh, I also, have the, I also have the variant. So if I pass template, get defaults, if I pass this, and the variant, right? And I come over here, this may not be the way to do it, but then it takes the variant as well. I should be able to go like this and get the variant that was passed. Clear, oh, it, uh, get out of here, clear. <laughs> okay, so do this. So 
I don't see any variant past. Oh, that's running really early, okay. Oh, there is no variant. Is there not a variant? Did I not put a variant in there? Stand by. No, no, I didn't. Sorry, I need to, I need to add that. So we need to add um, something like this. No, I did add variants. What the? Oh, right. Okay. Sorry, I need to. Hmm. So if I just pass, I'm just going to pass uh, dynamic in here. There's a lot of work I'm going to have to do to get this done. I think what it, like so what I need to do is I, I need to, to generate. So now I'm going to run. Okay. Thanks, Kev. Good to see you, man. Appreciate you coming. Um, so what this should allow me to do then is uh, clear this. Okay, so I got that. So now I should be able to say um, templates. So wait, where am I? So should be able. Oh, this should be. I can go uh, dynamic. Right, and this is actually going to be in here. So I'm just do an empty object in there. What is this guy on? I cannot get out of here. Right, so that can just be an empty object if you have nothing to override. Right, so this would be. Oops, that's wrong. So the idea would be that it would be like static and any potential options that need to override your defaults. Would, would would go in there. So then, let's see. So if I come back here, I'm going to tell uh, is it, where is it, get default values. Variant, variant is passed. Okay, so my default values. Right, I should be able to go. Should be able to go like this. Plugin template variant. Right, and that should spit out. just wrap the whole thing in a console log, but I'm not gonna. Um, okay, so I'm gonna run this now. Oh, I do this every time. Okay, so I sh what? God. Okay, so that seemed to do it. I did it up there. We're getting it twice, but this actually did what it was supposed to do. Uh, and if I do static, or I just pass static in here. Nope. Oh yeah, yeah, that's technically right anyways. Okay, so that's, that's giving me everything I need. Okay, so that's how I can do it. That's how I could do it. I can pass the variant to there. Uh, I'm just gonna return this, so I don't need to have that anymore. Return. Right, and pass the variant to that. So the next thing I'm going to have to figure out now is variant. Oh, wait, uh, templates has got a
Okay, so in here. To get. Okay, so what is it? Object of keys, I think, right? I'm gonna make an I'm gonna make an array out of that. So I'm gonna go. Um, const variant keys. Variant names equals what is it? Object. Dot keys. And variant. Uh, all right. So we should be able to do it this way. Let's make sure that's right. That's fine. So that work experience includes chosen. Oh, right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So this is exactly what. It is. Okay. So I'm going to change uh, variants to variant name. Variant name of variant names. Okay, this should work there now, I think. Oh, very instantial. Shit. Okay, so that should be fine. Make sure that works. And undefined is not a variant for this template. Okay. That seems correct. Variant names. That's the problem. Okay, let's see again. Clear. Okay, that looked like it worked. That looked like it worked. Um, oh, hey, I haven't mentioned, if anyone's new on the stream, please uh, drop a wave or, a, or whatever so I can say hi to you. Um, that would be cool. Okay, so... So let's see. So if I do dynamic now, right? Uh, if, I, if I run this, I'm going to go clear. All right, so I want to do this. I'm going to go uh, variant is dynamic, and we're going to go um, with that. Start good and pride thing, thing, thing. Yup. Okay. Good. So let's look. So if it's dynamic, how am I going to know? Oh, I'll know how it's dynamic. I'm just going to be in here. Good and pride in our block that JSON. We should have attributes is correct. Awesome. Let's try it again. This time I'm going to set variants to be static. And it's going to give me all that stuff again. I don't care about any of that. I just want to see what's in here. Block. Ooh. It's weird. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I? Did, am I? Am I passing a? I thought I was. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I was hard coding the value there. I need to get get that back. So let's clear this. And we'll go static. This is gonna ask all these questions. And I'm gonna go like that. Now, hopefully, my little block that JSON down here instead of this got there he is. Okay. All right, this is, this is actually super, super, super awesome. I might just convert the whole thing to do this. Um, I might just convert the whole thing to do that. So what happens if I pass a variant that doesn't exist? I should say, nope. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just stop going through all this stuff and give it a name. All right, test. Okay, so this is, nope, it's not a valid variant. Variable variants are static and, and, and dynamic. Okay, that's cool. So I don't pass a variant. 
and I'll get static. Which is correct. Okay, so now what happens? All right, so if I come into templates here now, and instead of doing, I might need to make this an object, of empty objects, because I'm not, I don't need to override anything, right? And do this, do that. So wouldn't it be super cool if we could do this? Check it out. So on static slug, I'm gonna say static, example static block, right? But in the slug for dynamic, it'll be example dynamic block. This is so funky dynamic. Am I over engineering engineering it? Yeah, probably am. Deal with it. <laughs> uh, example static. Block and then do the same thing for example dynamic block. This becomes okay, cool. So if I do something like that, uh, then I can do the same thing in here. All right, we can add some slugs like that. And this will be like example. Okay, all right, let's start just uh, testing this thing again, but I don't need that template. I just wanna run it with the standard stuff, make sure it all works. So this is uh, test static. Oh God, I wanna do that. I wanna do the no PVP. All right, let's see what we got. dynamic nope why did not work oh I didn't pass the, the dynamic variant sorry I need to go variant dynamic that's why it didn't work let's try that again there we go so we got the why is the save in there Oh, I know why. Uh, let me just delete that. It does because I it didn't just, it didn't overwrite the whole thing. It just uh, added extra stuff in there. So test dynamic source should be saved in there now. Not rid of them. Okay. So this is good. Templates good. Okay. Now if I don't add this name, what are the prompts going to say to me here? So I just go to do, and I, I don't actually. Oh, this, this might not really work. It might, it'll work for some things, but not for others. So example block, and if I take, why don't I have any? Oh boy, okay, so in here. Oh, the prompts, I think, are the problem here. I need to figure out the prompts. Um, I go object uh, dot keys. Public type is a variance like that. I think that'll do it. Holy, what? Okay, no, broke something.
Okay, so that worked. Oh, you know what, though? Hmm. I don't think that's where the problem is. There's a plum. Where am I doing this? So that gets replaced. Where do I... Choices is empty. Where do I... I'm replacing them somewhere. I can't remember where. Shit, where does it... Where am I getting the... I just I I was building up the the list di dynamically based on the thing and because I was trying to access it and it wasn't working. But it's working now. So let's see. Okay, so Oh, you know, what? Can, I, can I revert this? I'd like to revert this. What if I revert this commit? Whatever is fine. Um, I'm gonna add all this stuff back in though. Grab all that. I was this slime. So do something like this. Templates though, there'll be, there'll be some stuff in here. Okay. 
that's fine. So that's all gonna work. Okay. What? There was a commit in here. Oh no, God. What am I doing? Uh, which file am I looking at? It's the this one, I think. Let's look at the changes. I just need to do this a different way. I need to get that template out here. Where's this? Um, block. It's template. Templates. Pull on a block. And I'm going to go I'll copy that into here. And this should just give me that. And this, I now need to fix that. Okay, I'm almost there, almost there, almost there. I gotta get that template back. Where's that template I was using? There we go, and we'll go like this. Oh. Variant. Dynamic. I'm gonna call this thing Prime Test. Okay, let's go in here. Let's see what we can spit out. Okay, I'm gonna delete some of these so we get a bit much. So here we should have template, render, yep, style, save should not be there because it, oh, you know what, I'm gonna delete it and just rerun that because I think it might have been a carryover from when I rendered it before. So let's take a look. So for our test, it's gonna be search. Okay, so no, okay, block, that gives me the right thing. Does that actually give me the, the title? No, because I, I already defined that. That's super cool. Okay, uh, and it is fine. That looks fine. Index doesn't show the yes save. It does not. The style is fine. Template is fine. Pride test. This has got my renders. Okay. Okay, so that works. So that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So if I now run the same thing without um, really anything except no scripts and template to find. This should prompt me for a few things. Good pride. I'm going to say it's dynamic. Good block. Good pride. Good pride. Okay, yeah, sure. Yep. Okay, so that still seems to work. Yep. This I need to actually make work though, so let's do that. I mean, uh, this, this is not going to work. Um, because I need to pull a, this is not the right thing. So I need to gonna have to get what they were, where is that? In my block.json, there should be a attribute called message and I should be, I should have to um, spit it out the message, spit it out the message. That doesn't even make the sense. So this should be something like this. Uh, echo, escape. Man. That's, that should be title. Oh, should be, oh, come on. That's really what that should be. And I need to maybe tab that in, okay. Right, because I think in, you know, yeah, in here, I get the ats. Okay, so this should work. So I'm gonna re-render this, um, do that. It's gonna go, yep, I'm gonna go dynamic, and it's gonna go, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, and then, is this thing working yet? Okay, so I'm gonna go here, open this. So my plugins, I should have a pride test, pride test activate, posts, I'm post here, I'm gonna edit this one. Get rid of that. And this should be one called pride. Something wrong here? Definitely something wrong here. No, 
Okay, hold on. Plugins. I'm gonna have to deactivate, deactivate. Deactivate. Hmm. Something doesn't seem to be working right. So, what is this? It should be called Pride Test. Create block Pride Test. Okay, so. I didn't. Uh, I didn't build this, so that'll do it. So I'm gonna get npm install. Cause you remember, right? I skipped it, right? Didn't, it didn't even generate a uh, the package. Dot. It didn't generate the script, so I'm gonna just do this like I'm gonna actually build this thing out and I do all that. No, nope. and I go dot dynamic and do all the defaults. That's gonna install. It's gonna do its thing. It's gonna take a few minutes. Well, I do that. Does anyone have any things I want to talk about? What's going on? What's going on out there in the Twitch sphere? Good chat. Good chat. <laughs> Holy smokes, it is taking a couple of minutes, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, there we go. Formatting JavaScript files. Now I should have a build in here at some point. What is going on? Why don't I have a build process? SQL query, query. That's okay. Don't even worry about that. Am I the only one that thinks that this is doing weird things? Oh, it's this one. I think that's the one that they should be en enabling, and I think it was working the whole time. You know, there's there's a lesson to be learned here. That when you are um, building multiple plugins, maybe you shouldn't uh, wait. Is it save in there? Oh, come on. Okay, hold on. I gotta delete all. I'm delete all this stuff again. Bear with me. I'm sorry. This is getting hard to follow. That one. Can I do the Scrabble? Yeah, delete those. Okay, let's run it again. And then you can tell me all about your SQL query there, G Porter 43. What were you querying? I like SQL. It's like, it's a thing. Oh, crap. SQL is cool. Um, we need it for our, you know, PHP WordPress. PH WordPress. I'm now rebuilding this whole block again because I didn't really know what the hell I was doing there. Compile the blocks. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see. We got a Guten, Guten Pride block in there. So I'm gonna refresh this. We should have Guten Pride enabled. I do all posts. I'm gonna go a title. This should be a Guten Pride block. This is a test. Update that. We're gonna view the post and hmm, okay, let's get in Guten Pride. Guten Pride's not finding the right thing, maybe. It needs to find build template. It looks like it's in there. So what is this? Uh if I just go what like bar dump. Should be a R dump at am I just calling it? I wonder if I'm just calling it wrong. Whatever it is, it's not working. Oh, not there. Here. 
What category? What you, the deuce is, oh, title is, uh, this is a test. Update in the block is, this is a test. And refreshing. It doesn't work. What are you being an asshole for? Probably just broke everything. Hmm. Let's check. Post. Select that out. Um, this is, there it is. Okay, so what is this? It's Wooden Bride. Okay, it's not. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's. No, it should be right. Text control. Set attributes. This is Val, right? Yeah. Post. Interesting. What 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 is the, what is the problem here? Oh, because it's probably because I'm calling die on that, which I feel like shouldn't really be a problem because it's just a template. Okay, it's not seeing any attributes getting getting passed. So what is going on here? is indeed getting called. Let's see. I think that might that may actually be the problem. I can go away. On here. Oh, fine. Where's that? Um, I should load. Get that block in there. Yeah, get that block. I'm gonna update that block. Refresh that block. And it's there now. Okay, it's there now. So why? Oh, why? Did that not get the right variant? Do I not have to? Did I? Let's one here. I should have two variants, right? I have static and I have dynamic. That's it. Let's try. 
wonder if that has something to do with it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this. Based on Adrian, just a batch data from partners. Whew, that sounds heavy. I may have fallen asleep. Just as you're explaining, I'm just kidding, it's all good. Uh, okay, I need to delete this Guten Pride. I think there is some overriding going on here. So I'm wondering if maybe I run this, I go dynamic, if that's going to work. Because I'm, I wonder if it's getting, no, it shouldn't, it should override it. It should override it in its entirety, should it not? Like in the default values, it should be like. Let's see. Hmm. It's proving to be a little complex. But I think this will be super duper um, helpful. Allow us to. Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's look in. Let's look in here now. Let's look in Guten Pride. We're looking in our source, our block.json. Doesn't have attributes at all. What am I calling? Okay, so the template. Wonder if it's the difference between interactive mode. Let's test something here. Variant, call it dynamic. I bet this will work. Let's look. It's probably a place where I am not. Yeah, that did it. Okay, so it's not about that. It's about the problem with the prompts. Okay, so I can go back to my, this thing and I can put this back the way it was. So this should still overwrite that. Okay, so I wonder if maybe the prompt should be first. Like we're, move that to the top. Is there another place where defaults is called? Maybe that's the other thing I need to find is where this get default values is called. And what's this one variant? And plugin template, I need to pass variant. Oh no, I don't need the fast right in there. Do I? What's the line for? No, I'm not using it in, in, in that case. Hmm, all right, let's try again without the... We're gonna go dynamic. Okay. No, didn't work. Okay, so. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe there's something in blocker, init, uh, init block JS. I think I need to do it like this. Where does attributes come from? Where's scaffold, right? There'll be a block JS call. It'll be like a init package JSON. Where is it in the init block? Init view. Okay.
Hmm. So I guess the thing I have to fix is an interactive mode. It doesn't it doesn't handle the. Uh, That'll do it. Let's see. Let's try this again. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do, we're gonna go dynamic. Do all this, let that run. Hopefully, maybe that's just all I needed to do. Oh, 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 I see. <sighs> okay, so that will work, but I need to do it in a slightly different way. Dot, um, no, hmm? God, why can't I figure out how to do this? No, it's question mark dot attributes. That's kind of ugly though. Oh, I know what I'll do. I won't do it that way. I'll do it this way. And then I can just do that. All right? So this should say anything that's inside a variance variant will overwrite anything that's in here. So that will be a bit better. All right? So hopefully now if I go back into that wherever that is, boom. Works 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 awesome okay so let's test that by in, in here we'll set I don't know whatever the icon the dash icon for dynamic to be Twitter and we'll just write it again so this should give me Exactly the way I want it to work. Okay, so now if I do the same thing, but choose static, I should get the default stuff back. Flag. Oh, nice man. Okay, that seems to work really well. Seems to work really, 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 really well. Okay. Okay, so let's let's look and see what we got here. So we gotta go.
So if I go back here now, I should be able to. super happy with this actually I think I addressed all the all the feedback that was in here uh, I think the only other thing so I'm gonna push this up now I'm gonna add um, just a note on that um, and hopefully hopefully I can get this thing merged in the next few days at least very least before Wednesday um, yeah 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 Cool. All right. It's, 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 12, it's, 12, it's almost 12.30. So I'm going to call it a day for now. But thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Appreciate you all, like usual. Uh, collaborative rocker, welcome. I don't know if you're still here or not, but thanks for following and hanging out. G Porter 43, you good luck with your SQL statements. Try to stay awake. Power through, brother. Or sister. I don't know, actually. I'm assuming brother. Anyways, uh, yeah, you're all awesome. And I'll see you all hopefully next week where I can demo some of these really cool create block things I've been working on. Cheers. Later. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content about Gutenberg and WordPress development.